Super been on the hub guy. too much, right, John? I haven't been in a while. I've been too busy, so I don't know wow. what new material is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I think this deserves a fist bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, like, I got a lot of reserves in right now. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll take that back. I've been yeah. holding it in, bro. Dance nice. it out, John. <laughs> Dance it <laughs> out. <laughs> What's up, Wikimaniacs, and welcome to Reddit on Wiki. I am your host for today's episode. It is I, your Pony Pinoy John. With me are your favorite boys. We got Josh. Ooh. And because he asked me to be nice to him publicly, we have the handsome, the charming, oh, there and I'm going to say it normal because I love him, compassionate. And legend oh, has it yeah. that he's a gracious lover, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. We also have your boy, Sean. What's wow. up, boys? I think I climaxed and finished. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to make sure, because you said I don't love you publicly, bro. Yeah, it's been a lot of, uh, it's been a lot of hurtful, uh, well, I mean, you guys called it right on the dot. I did not listen, and Nancy did have to tell me <laughs> that, <laughs> the, the part specifically where y'all mapped it out. Oh yeah, like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it well two weeks at the time of? By the time this comes out, yeah, three weeks, close to a month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I guess she's yeah, behind as well. We shit talked Sean on an episode a couple weeks ago, yeah, yeah. and it, uh, it doesn't feel nice, you know. But you know, I, we love you. Yeah, yeah. I just gotta I, hear it sometimes. You know me, words of affirmation okay. and all that. Good. Hey, it is your love language, bro. <laughs> all right. So for the first time, listeners, we react to some of the craziest stories our Wikimaniacs find for us on Reddit because we don't do jobs anymore. Like we don't we don't search for our own crap no longer. Then after the Reddit portion, we'll go to this day in history, written by Cultivate's very own Alex Underbaki of Weird Distractions Podcast. Also, I think I saw a review once asking why we have a random This Day in History segment. It is not <laughs> random, first of all. Um, that's kind of how the episodes format were up to episode 36, uh, which coincidentally, boys, it was just over a year ago on March 10th of 2022 where we released our first ever standalone Am I the Asshole episode. Oh, whoa. good thing someone's keeping track. <laughs> that, that's me. And shout out to Midscore too, because they have a crazy spreadsheet of all our stories. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh my goodness. Whole, I have not it seen that. It is insane. That. Is that in the Discord? It's on the Discord. So oh gosh, they, they the try goat. everything. Shout out Midscore. You are the Love goat. That. Um, so congrats to the three of us for being somewhat famous for a year yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so, up until somewhat. episode 36 we did uh we did a history podcast yes. and uh now we do Reddit random Reddit <laughs> shit. <laughs> Which you know, so it, it's a snapshot in history on the internet at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Look at you. you know, we can like we can still we can still crash the internet the internet charts. Or the history like charts, it. I'm sorry. The internet charts. But as soon as I said something smart, I followed We're it up crash immediately the internet. by something. <laughs> Calm this down is there, our Elon. world. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, Sean, Josh, ready to hear today's menu. Let's Ew. do it. All right. This week's menu all comes from our subreddit. And we also have one listener submit a story today. Story number one was cross-posted by just basement score amy basement <laughs> score the basement score moose just because there's a Holy basement moly. score on our pay uh, in our uh discord, discord? So shout out basement score nice love that um where a university professor tried to sleep with the op okay yikes well it Big doesn't yikes. say op is a student so well we shall see well, that, <laughs> i feel like university professor wouldn't be important otherwise yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be positive here. Nope, not this week. Oh, no. Um, we then go to a story cross-posted by Sleepy and Delusional, where Opie felt unsafe with the family they are babysitting for. Hmm, that's not great. Danger, like danger. Creepy men. Two, two out of two stories two so out far. Of two so far, maybe <laughs> we'll see. We then go to a quick ad break because then we hop on a story cross posted by Lazy VB Bruh about a Karen who got mad for not getting their food first. Mm. 
That one sounds about I mean, white. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like me when I don't get my food. <laughs> Maybe this is a Josh. <laughs> His name was Josh. <laughs> Maybe. Screaming. He was wearing plaid. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of wearing, what are you wearing today, bro? You're like decked out in uh, Wicked Maniac gear. I, I finally got, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it a bit more at the house cleaning episode. Yeah, but, we'll uh, do that. New, new merch. Just, just be prepared for some announcements coming up. Yeah. Whoa. And last story is submitted by Wikimaniac Saskia about them witnessing some people lose their careers. Oh. That one is... That one's gonna be crazy. Someone who has lost their career. <laughs> Me and you both, brother. <laughs> Am I gonna cry well. at the end of this story? <laughs> oh, we'll see. It'll be we'll revenge. Be. <laughs> <Maybe>. Payback. <laughs> Before we get started, if you like what we do, consider leaving a review for us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or our website, Reddit on wiki.com. Or consider being a patron. There's about 280 of y'all now, so I'm going to be reading 280 names later. Consider being a patron to get exclusive access and bonus content. Rock our merch like Josh is doing right now. Whoa. And uh, all the info you can find in our show notes. Boys, ready to get the first story started. I wish this was like... Mm -hmm. Not a reverse camera, because then you could actually read what it says. <laughs> it looks great on my end. It looks regular on my end. It does oh, look does regular it? on okay. our end, yes. It's just backwards yeah. on my side, I guess. Say, just, just take it off so then they can get like a, a clearer view of what you're no, wearing. No, no, no. We'll keep Wait, it whenever on. you put yeah. the video on YouTube, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show the right way, right? I have no idea. We'll see. <laughs> have we never <laughs> worn anything with the right? <laughs> I don't know. You have been the only one with like days off shirts, but I don't know. I've never really I, noticed. <laughs> yeah. I just wear plaid, so <laughs> it, it do looks bad. the same backwards as it does. <laughs> yeah, front, this is so. a science experiment for the three of us. <laughs> so we will see. All right, story number one. Again, this is cross posted by Just Amy the Moose. The title is "My 19 Female University Professor, 34 Male, is Trying to Sleep with Me, and I'm Genuinely Scared." called it oh this is like that friends episode where ross didn't he date one of his students yes shows problem more problematic yes. the more ross he is creepy it. as fuck now that you think yeah. about he's it. my least favorite character <laughs> yeah he's annoying anyways this is posted by or op is aggressive midscore onion and it goes as this too long didn't read my professor pretty much admitted to being sexually attracted to me and made a ton of creepy comments about me then Not asked great. me out on a date Several times. Ugh. Well, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Not the right day, Josh. <laughs> you guys keep doing asshole stories. They're all asshole. <laughs> yes, it's all it's a crossover. <laughs> Anyways, I recently started a post secondary trades program, and my one male professor will not leave me alone. This whole thing started because a full tuition grant was offered for whoever helped out the most around the shops before a big end of the year event. Since I'm nice and broke. I was pretty excited to hear that someone had the chance to get everything paid for. I wanted it to be me. So me and a couple of friends started staying after class and helping out on days when we weren't required to do so, mostly just small tasks like reorganizing and light cleaning. I guess because I was keen on the tuition and staying later to get considered for it, he mistook that for attraction. Not long after I started staying after class, he started asking me and my friends if we needed rides home. Ew. Yeah, creepy guy, dude. Then it turned into him only asking me, cornering me with personal questions about relationships, asking me if any of the guys in my class have, quote, made moves on me yet, and overall just a bunch of wildly inappropriate questions. Dude, he you're would 34. Love bomb you're fucking 34, <laughs> brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like date someone your own age. <laughs> right. At least, what do we always say? At least 25. 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not the cutoff date, man. Yeah. Um, he would love bomb me, tell me my laugh was adorable, how I'm the, quote, perfect wife type, and how I was one of the prettiest girls he's ever seen. <sighs> Creeps. <Wow>. So disgusting. <laughs> I didn't realize the full meaning of what he was doing until he said all that shit. What's worse is that's barely all he said. I was in denial of the whole thing for a while because this has never really happened to me on this extreme of a level. Recent events made me realize this grown ass man was fully trying to go for a teenager. Yeah. He asked me to hang out with him on the weekend. Not just uh, once, 
but multiple times. Jeez. Bro, she can't out. even get a drink with you at a bar. Right. Too young. Here she could. <laughs> oh. Maybe they're Canadian. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, well, we did learn there's terrible they're, people from Canada, too. That's, that's true. You got deport, someone Canadians got deported well. by ICE. In Canada. Wait, what? What's, oh, you yeah, weren't here. Was, you it's weren't a, yeah. oh, <laughs> yeah, a callback yeah, yeah. for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. past episode. We continue. Wait, what, what province you always shit on, Josh? Alberta. Alberta. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out we had a ton of Wikimaniacs from Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> I we gotta stop shitting on places in general. I think I think we're it's always fun. I mean, uh, listen, Ontario, you can shit on it all you want. It's <laughs> it's pretty trash sometimes too. <laughs> shit on Texas, guys. Just do Whoa. it, and Sean will be angry. <laughs> Sean's like, no, I missed the Utah bit. No, no, we shit on Utah, guys. You don't have my blessing to shit on Texas. <laughs> Only if you're here. That's why John gets to. Oh, okay. <laughs> he has I'll to deal with tongue. issues. <laughs> he asked me to hang out with him on the weekend, not just once, but multiple times. Even after the rejection. Bad. He said there was a restaurant we should go to and a bunch of other shit I didn't really pay attention to. Chuck E. I'll- Cheese? That sounds like fun to be honest. <laughs> no, because she's a child. <laughs> I would say yes to that. Yeah, you're um, also a child. True. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> I was in a bit of a shock because he shamelessly asked me out on a date despite being 15 years older than me. Yeah. It's gone to the point where some of my other classmates have confronted him about his actions and what he's been saying about me. He pretty much confessed to liking me, but keeps lying about things I'm doing. He told some of my male classmates that we kissed and how oh. I've been pursuing him. You're 34. Like, You're some 34, gossip girl shit. <laughs> man. Yeah. Oh. But neither of these things are true. I've told my classmates that we what he's saying isn't true and they believe me. I think he's trying to separate me and my classmates or cut me off from any friends I have. That's classic manipulation, by the way. Um, He tries to keep a stoic kind of personality, but it's cracking with his newfound obsession. Me. I think he's an Andrew Tate fan because he's quoted some of his classic (laughs) dumb saying a couple of times and just has really misogynistic views. Obsessed with the idea that men can't be friends with women, women should follow traditional roles, and that he wants multiple wives. Again, shit on Utah. Um, <laughs> I had to go there. BYU, baby. Believe <laughs> me. Who's our Wikimaniac again? Was that Bailey? Sorry, Bailey. <laughs> we love our say, Wikimaniacs. Yeah, especially from Utah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they probably need more love, to be honest. Uh, yes, you're right. You're yeah. right. Like um, always, we hate the governments of these places, not, yeah, the, not people. the people. Not yeah. the people. Some of the people. Some people. <laughs> Some of the people. A portion of them. <laughs> What really scares me about this is that he's easily double my size, very into fitness and around six feet tall. I'm 100 pounds soaking wet, barely five feet and completely defenseless if he were ever to try and take advantage. I've told some classmates about this and we're making an action plan to tell my other professor about this whole situation. My problem is I don't want him to get fired. I want to ruin him. Oh, okay. okay. Make sure he never has another chance to do this to another living being. I'm scared to go to school every day. That isn't something you should have to do. So Reddit, please tell me how to absolutely ruin this man. Feel free to ask any follow up to the story, whatever it takes to make sure he never comes back from this. Get recordings of him being fucking Uh, misogynistic and horny. Uh, Get your friends to get recordings of him lying about y'all kissing and shit. Uh, I don't know. We need, we need definitive proof to ruin this man. And right now it seems like, you know, just a lot of personal conversations, unfortunately. Do you, have a, do you have a petty advice, Josh? Cause I want to hear a petty advice that you'd get. <laughs> uh, that would be useful advice. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm, I'm just, he just delete TikTok from his phone by the sounds of it uh, so that Andrew Tate can't get in anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've, I'm have i actually kind of stumped on this one. I'm, I apologize. Uh, Gasp. I know. I'm sorry. Speaking of petty and Andrew Tate. Slash his is tires. It, is, it, is it bad that I do not care that he is sick? I do not care. Either. Is he does sick? Make, does that make me a bad person? Somebody said he might have cancer and I'm like. Good. Oh, Andrew Tate. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant this teacher. <laughs> That's like, oh, oh no. Who was saying this? <laughs> uh, no, I don't care. Um, there was a bunch of people on Twitter roasting him 
being like, I feel so bad for that tumor. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. I would never I like, wish oh. like harm on anybody despite how much I hate them, but yeah, sometimes people deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, it, you know, what goes around comes around sometimes. I you, want him to survive so that he can actually suffer. For, like, damn. Like in jail, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'm <laughs> like, like for shit. the crimes he committed. So it would be just too e easy just to die for him. Yeah, I mean, you, you spew out cancerous like mentality, and you know, sometimes just desserts find its way. So that's <laughs> karma. Uh, karma. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is there is a quick update for a story, by the way. Oh, I so, did have ooh. one one uh, ahead, last Josh. thing just before we. I think it's wild that they're like. Yeah, you'll get a scholarship if you do free labor for the university or college. Yeah, it what is that? Like, what is that? <laughs> That's a Mr. Miyagi schooling system, That's baby. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Just pay them so that they could pay for school. Uh, like a wild concept. Anyway, sorry. That I mean, was I one probably would work for the school to get free tuition. I would. Probably I did work for my shit. school. I worked in IT. Did you get free tuition? Yeah. No, I didn't get free tuition, but I got paid. So it's like, oh, yeah, okay. you know, yeah. That's job experience, so that's good that you can put that on your resume. Yeah, it has nothing to do with my... It was like fixing printers. <laughs> a job is a job. <laughs> nothing to do with what I do now, but... Uh, Money's yeah, money. It was, it was money, so that was, that was it was nice. Oh, this is totally off tangent, but I saw a TikTok yesterday about the Circuit City principle or something like that, how TikTok or how Twitter doesn't have an HR department, so if you claim that you've had work experience <laughs> at Twitter before, I no one's that. ever going to fucking <laughs> confirm that. <laughs> I've considered it because I got laid off from my job yeah, right around the time the layoffs happened. <laughs> so I'm going to put your guys' number down. You guys just vouch for me, okay? That's I got it. you, bro. Yeah, we worked Josh on these projects Shell? together. Oh, man. You're going to be lucky to get that guy. What a Best great UX guy. designer we've ever had. Yeah. He designed like the all fuck these features. Out of you know that blue tick? That's his idea. <laughs> I don't want that one. <laughs> you want to get verified? Josh Shell made that shit. <laughs> His idea was to, idea monetize to charge it. people. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Classic white man idea. Charge people some more. What a guy. Oh. You should hire him. You'd be very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, oh. complete off tangent. So but funny. update. Long story short, I looked at all the comments and most suggested reporting. I didn't want yeah. to do it alone or go to the other professor in a class. So about seven of our classmates went straight to the dean of trades. We all wrote personal written accounts of all our experiences. Every comment we could remember was written down, as well as their own personal accounts I didn't even know about. Apparently, he wasn't just gunning for me. He told oh. another girl in our class to leave her husband and another girl to meet him in another room for a good time. Jesus. He also called one of the girls in our class a stupid pick-me bitch for challenging his knowledge in class. What did this guy teach again? Some trade shit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of the boys in our class also reported him. They told me about how he would talk about me and the other girls extremely inappropriately and how he was going to shoot his shot with me because I'm young and malleable. Jesus. Oh. Malleable is the weirdest, what? creepiest way to describe yeah, it's someone predatory. that you're interested in. Yeah. Predatory, yeah. predatory for fun. sure. Oh. We banded together as a class and got his ass fired. Hell now yes. he works at a nightclub. Real shocker. So thank you to everyone who commented on my first post for their genuine advice on the matter. Y'all influenced my decisions in a positive way and made the situation a whole lot better. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was the advice I was going to give if I could give actual advice. Don't ask for my petty <laughs> advice. I saw yeah, I put you on a spot. So I, no, apologize that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did it to you last week. It's only fair. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's great. I mean, hopefully he's not in a... It sounds like he could potentially be in a position to do this at, like, a club or something. Hopefully it's only, you know, 21-year-olds getting in, but... Uh, but still, so, I feel like that scarier environment for him in a club with alcohol yeah. and possible drugs involved, and a lot more people are defenseless in that type of scenario, so... Yep, you're exactly right, so... They should have fired his predatory ass. Oh, no, yeah. Y'all should go to the nightclub and give the same evidence. Yes. <laughs> just copy, paste, and throw it. Yeah. If you did them. say you wanted to ruin his life, not just get him fired. So yeah. Just go to every job he gets and just give his employer that shit. <laughs> Until he's just constantly like, follow his LinkedIn. I don't know what job he could do. Oil rigger in the middle of nowhere, I guess. I wouldn't put that shit in my LinkedIn profile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That guy, he needs to get therapy. There you go. 
Wow. You'll get it right someday. <laughs> I thought you were telling him he needs to dance. I was like, I he mean, needs I to guess. Dance. I mean, maybe even that's therapy. <laughs> dance his problems away. <laughs> that's All what you right. used to do, right, Sean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the only reason why I danced. <laughs> we need you need to teach us like some sort of dance. So that was like five when we ever get together. Ago. It you you'd still be better than us combined. I mean, oh, I used yeah. to dance back in the day, but like not as good as you. Uh, yeah, I'm I very white. <laughs> <laughs> very unseasoned. I feel Sean would lose all his hair, all his beautiful hair from trying to teach me. <laughs> I mean, the trend is like long gone now, but imagine Josh doing Eugene's. That would be just so I beautiful. don't even know what that is. Oh, the, n- the new K-pop group is XG. Oh, oh so there's a new one now. See, I'm totally yeah. behind. Already, okay. we're, we've already moved on. God damn. <laughs> I wanted to bring that up, but you were gone for so long. Dude, oh, New Jeans is the shit. Shout out it to uh, our Discord members who also fuck with the New Jeans. Josh the, is like, I'm so white. <laughs> I was, I know BTS. That's, that's it. That's that's okay. after, after we record, Blackpink, New Jeans, XG, just go on Spotify. Okay. Yeah, yeah I got the new uh, Spotify DJ. I'll get him to play that for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wicked Maniacs, the next story involves potentially sexual harassment and sexual assault. So if this is something that might be triggering for you, feel free to skip this story and just move past the ads and on to the next one. So here we Don't go. Don't move past the ads. Listen to the ads. My Don't mother listens it. to the ads. So thanks, oh, nice. Does she? <laughs> yeah. That's- she says, and I never skip the ads and I- I'm like, that's what my mom says too. You're a G. That's so funny. Dude, my mom Uh, watches like the YouTube ones, uh, the YouTube religiously every week. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if my mom watches YouTube or or the podcast. Probably on YouTube. She loves YouTube. I tell people in the Philippines, don't skip the ads on YouTube. That's how they make money. I'm like, mom, you're the best. (laughs) That's so nice. Well, hi, John Uh, and Sean's mom. My mom doesn't understand podcast so she <laughs> she does not listen. sorry mom for but, all the dick jokes and all the inappropriate things oh well, you're used to it i'm your son like i'd be saying that shit since i was growing my, up my mom's boss listens though which is wild <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> yeah she's she just yeah my, i guess she enjoys reddit stories so she listens <laughs> well wild. Yeah. give josh's mom a raise what are you doing <laughs> We move on. All right. Moving on from one creepy guy to another creepy guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. I got distracted. I was yes, like, this is right. my chance. Um, <laughs> this one is cross posted by Sleepy and Delusional. The title is The Children I Babysit Has a Father That Makes Me Feel So Unsafe. Uh, uh, called it with the two creepy men. Yeah. You're too You've been on the hub guy. too much, right, John? <laughs> I haven't been in a while. I've been too busy, so I don't know wow. what new material is. Oh, wow. wow. Good job. <laughs> I think this deserves a fist bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, like, I got a lot of reserves in right now. <laughs> I'm going to take that back. I've been yeah. holding it in, bro. It's Dance nice. it out, John. <laughs> Dance it out. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, I, female 17, have been babysitting for this family for a while now, as they are two young parents working full time with two young children, aged one and three. I previously mentioned that I would be happy to assist with other tasks as well, such as grocery shopping and other things. But for the time being, all I've been asked to do is watch the kids. The kids' mother, as well as the kids, were leaving the country for a month So the dad called me a few days ago to ask if I could help with cleaning the house since he was the only one home at the moment. He offered to pick me up at the same day to simply look around the house and create a schedule, and I didn't give it much thought. Since he always did that when I was going to babysit, it wasn't unusual when he picked me up in his car. He instructed me in the car to keep the mother in the dark about this as his first instruction, and he also told me that I was very beautiful. Nope. That's when I get it. <laughs> Holy mm-hmm. shit. I jump out the car. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame her for getting in because like it's just a regular day. Right, right. Right. Yeah. So that's. And that's her job. Like, you know, they, how they, she's, supposed she's been to doing know. it for the family. Yeah. Yeah. She's just like, oh, they're giving me extra responsibilities. They're busy, whatever. Like, yeah. Jesus. It's never the victim's fault when it, in these situations. No, the creepy no, no, fuckers. No, no. It's the creepy also, fuckers that like do this all the time. Yeah. Also clean your own fucking house. <laughs> you don't have their kids there. So you can, you probably have time. Just do it yourself. Facts. Even though I agreed that it was a little strange, I kept my mouth shut. 
He stood me in front of the mirror as soon as we got home to check to see if I was taller than him. I felt uncomfortable as he held me around my waist to no. measure me. No. He showed me the mess around the house. And then we somehow got on the subject of my upcoming party, which led to him taking out his wife's previous wedding dress and then asked me to put it on and to borrow it to the party. What the Why fuck? Why the fuck would you wear a wedding dress to a party? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I declined and pretended that we were pressed for time. He offered to drive me to school later and said we could eat something small first. No. He gave me a snicker and we sat down. I got a little bit of chocolate on my lips and he no. forcefully touched my lips to take it off. Oh, I hate this. We got out to the car and he once again reminded me to not say anything to his wife. The way I would rat to the wife I mean, <laughs> so fast. Facts. I'd be he texting held, oh. while it was happening. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. Better believe what your husband's doing right now and take a picture and just be like. Mine was FaceTime. <laughs> well, no, then she might. Uh, yeah, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He held my hand whilst his Tesla was on autopilot mode. He told me to stop talking to other men while he was holding my hand. I was so startled by this that I mentioned that I had a boyfriend, which was true. He said something along the lines of, well, I guess that's okay. Just don't ask him for money. I can always fix that. And don't work for another family. We need you here. No. I didn't respond to his comment much because I was so horrified. He continued to hold my hand, placing his hand beneath mine and holding it as if he were going to kiss it. Another strange thing was that he repeatedly asked me when I will turn 18. Oh, ah. Some Leonardo DiCaprio shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This um, that previous professor Man. shit. Is yeah. it, it might be the professor. Now you oh, think about it. <laughs> God. Oh. He said we could go out to eat sometime because he was so alone now with the kids and wife being gone before he dropped me off. I also observed that he was hard throughout the whole time. Mm. I don't know. It freaked me out. Please give me any advice. Should I stop working for the family and yes. never meet him again? Yes. <laughs> Edit. I would also like to mention that after he told me not to tell his wife, he said that his wife would block him and get super angry if I was even there. I think they talked about me before, and I assume that she said that she didn't want me to be there alone with him. Go figure. He's Fair. a creeper. Yeah. I also texted my boyfriend while I was still in the car with him, and I already had a list of seven red flags. I mean, I, yeah, that was that's so fucked up. Like taking advantage of a person who's 17 mm -hmm. works for you. And like has nowhere else, like you've trapped her in your house basically and your car and then just assaulted her. Like that is, oh, oh. and then on, on top of that, like you have a wife and kids, dude, like stop being a piece of shit and be a, like a decent role model for those people. Yeah. I think you should tell everyone that you can and sue his ass and then you won't have to work a babysitter job ever again. <laughs> the fact that his wife doesn't want you alone with him. Makes me think like you're not the first one to yeah. Yeah. go through this, True. which is terrifying. Hate that. Uh, hate this guy. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I trust the legal system to help you. You know, with what has happened thus far, because no evidence. You know what I mean. In general, the justice system in America, at least, is Pretty not shitty. great. Is not yeah. great at all. Yeah, I for sure would. You know, I don't know. If there's like in the babysitting world, Yelps for families, I don't know. Like, just <laughs> oh, you would think there'd be something like that. Anti right? And if Might not, be. we need to make that. We need to yeah, capitalize true. on Hurry that. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, should, yeah, I this part? should I cut this <laughs> part so that we can capitalize? <laughs> there has to be some uh, way where we could warn people uh, do not babysit for this man uh, yeah. type of deal. Uh, at least you would hope there's a way to like boost that. But yeah, I would for sure never see this guy again, uh, would never show up again. And I would tell his wife, you know, why you're not going to show up. Yeah, uh, I would 100% tell your parents uh, immediately. Um, oh, yeah, that too. Oh, now that you say that, can I can I add a comment that uh, one of the top comments as well as an OP response? Okay, sure. So the, one of the top comments, the advice that they gave was this was from Proud Midscore Complex, Midscore 5267. Tell your parents and then talk to the wife with your parents there for safety. Never keep this kind of thing a secret. 
Tell her you can never work for her or her family again and then block their number. You do not need a job that much to put yourself in a dangerous situation. And he even tried to offer money and be your sugar daddy. So gross. Stay safe. Don't ever go back there. Which the OP responded. And this is from Committee According 57. Thank you. I talked to my parents as soon as this happened. And they also advised me to not go back and work for them. I'm a little sad since I really love the kids and the wife is very sweet as well. But I think it's for the best since even worse things can happen if I hang out with him alone again. So yeah. fuck them kids in this situation. <laughs> Say that shit, Josh. Not not <laughs> like they're bad kids, but just don't you don't have to consider them. They're you're you gotta keep your own safety in mind and uh yep. yeah, avoid that family at all costs. Uh hopefully he goes to jail. Hopefully. Actually, hopefully they just take a helicopter and dump him in the middle of the ocean. That's probably what's best. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> In the That's, middle. Which is the biggest ocean? Pacific? Put him in there. Pacific, the middle. for sure. Pacific yeah. sounds about right. But There's an island. He could swim to one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude, a big st- gap. <laughs> Have you seen that, that TikTok where it was like uh, one of the trippiest things when you're out in like open water is like the water blends in with the sky. You don't know where the oh. water ends and where the sky begins. It's I crazy. I've seen that before. Not yeah, seen that. It's crazy. Makes it very clear why ships get lost all the time. <laughs> yeah. Bermuda Triangle. Uh, I've actually been so fascinated with that. So the Bermuda Triangle actually has a lower, uh, what would you call it? Disappearance rate than quite a few other places in the, uh, in the world. Uh, but yeah, it's just talked about way more for some reason. <laughs> Conspiracies are fun. That's why. Yeah, that's fair. They can be dangerous, but yeah, that one's pretty fun. It's overall yeah. harmless. <laughs> True. Say that to the people that died. <laughs> I will tell them. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, track uh, are pretty just, harmless. <laughs> just get over it, you know? <laughs> well, they won't know they're dead. <laughs> no, but there's like way busier, like way more spots where they like, uh, I, I can't tell you where. I think Asia, there was a couple spots and then like a bunch of I just of wonder if it's through. like Bermuda Triangle is just like closest to America and Americans <laughs> love conspiracies. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that's could probably be it for sure. I wonder if that's the same area where that Malaysian flight um, disappeared into. Oh, it could have been. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. That one's wild. Yeah. Oh, it, my God. This, this is, came out with a documentary, I think, on that. We're completely off the tangent. See, this is yeah. what we would have discussed <laughs> if we were back last year doing our history segment. We could have done one on Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. It's not but, too late. Uh, Alex, it's not too late. the amazing underbaki. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> It has we'll to land on a perfect day first, though. Yeah, I know. We'll do a just talking episode or uh, Wednesday episode if we ever get there. <laughs> if we oh, yeah, ever I mean, make we this can... our full time jobs, I would ha- I would gladly do. <laughs> yeah, we, we could always do a ten minute shows. short one on our on our our whatever Wednesdays for our. Oh, I'm um, patron. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes sense. It's true. All right, sorry, we completely went off the tangent there. And with that, we're going to a quick ad break with Kamaniac. So please listen to the sultry voice of Josh. Or Sean's sexy winking. A lot of Wikimaniacs love that, by the they way, did last like week. winking. Uh, while they talk about <laughs> trimming their pubes or their face. So we'll be right back, Wikimaniacs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a public service announcement. Our friends at Manscaped now have beard products and are going even further with their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0. Go ahead and tell the world that the leaders in below the waist grooming are traveling north of your man's South Pole. Nose hairs are a major turnoff. The new Weed Whacker 2.0 and their new beard line confirms they have all the best tools for his hygiene toolbox. Time for you to upgrade his game by going to manscaped.com and using our code reddit for 20% off plus free shipping. Let's be serious here. I should not be reading this ad because look at my beard. Horrible. This should be Josh reading. Uh, He has a superior beard. But you know what? Maybe after I use the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, I can get on Josh's level. Meet the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's the ultimate package that makes it easier than ever for the man in your life to craft his signature look. Your man, too, can have a beard as good as Josh if you use the Beard Hedger, the only beard trimmer your man will ever need. The Beard Hedger has a titanium-coated T-blade that is tough on hair but smooth on his face, leading to a single-stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. This waterproof cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives him 20 haircutting lengths all with one guard. You heard that right. All with one guard, no more drawers full of 20 different guards. 
The Pro Kit is much more than a trimmer though. It comes with four dermatologist tested formulations for his post trim care. Trust me, both of you are going to love this because he will smell great. This includes Manscaped's beard shampoo and conditioner, beard oil, and beard balm to moisturize, style, and shimmer his facial hair. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three free gifts, a beard brush, a beard comb, and scissors to ensure that his beard is ready to impress. The brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 offers improved blades and skin safe technology with no tugging guarantee. It's never been so painless for him to mine his manholes. We're talking noses, if nostrils, manholes, you know what I'm saying? Now that his upstairs is taken care of, let's talk about behind the scenes. There's a winky face in the script. Now that his face is looking great, you must try Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 for the full body grooming experience. Good news. The Performance Package 4.0 now comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0 and all of the other below the waist grooming products Manscaped is known for. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be delighted to see him covering all bases if you know what I mean. Covering all bases to get on all faces. Take that out, Josh. That was not good. Anyways, if that sounds interesting to you, get 20% off and free shipping with our code Reddit at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using our code Reddit. Trust Manscaped for the only right tools for the job. Thank me later. So I'm not good at winks, but all the YouTube viewers, that's for you. All right, and we're back. Moving on to the third story. This one's really short because the main event is going to be fun. So stay tuned for that one. This story is cross posted by Lazy VB Bruh. The title is Karen Mad. I got my food first. Oh, the white so, person story. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's your opinion. Yep. <laughs> so, wife is hungry for McDonald's breakfast. So, it could be you, John. It is me. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of McDonald's breakfast, what happened to all day breakfast? When did that stop? Wait, they stopped? Yeah. yeah I, I tried, to get, have, a, I tried to get a McGriddle like. A month ago at like 11 and they were like, no can do. Yeah, you're right, John. I think they have got that off. When the fuck did that happen? I did not know that. I the thought it was all day. Hit hard. Uh, that's fair. That's They've fair. changed out the beef for chicken now on the Big Mac. Times Wait, are tough. Wait, what? Dude, you've yeah. been keeping track. <laughs> yeah, <there's laughs> you're a ch- serious about this shit. Chicken Big Mac. Okay. It's a new thing. It's like a crispy chicken, uh, uh, two patties on a Big Mac. Whoa, I wonder if you could sub a chicken with a beef and then you have like a mega McGangbang. Oh, oh just one of the patties? Yeah, I could see that. I yeah. haven't had one of those in forever, <laughs> dude. The gangbang was the ultimate high school cheap meal. Yes. <laughs> I miss it when they were able to serve bucket of fries. I was like, dude, that was my shit. They have a basket of fries now. Do they? Oh my goodness. Yeah. You guys are crazy. Yeah. When a large there. isn't enough and they got shamed <laughs> out of supersizing. They waited 15 years and dropped the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone so forgot about that funny. documentary, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, no, no, super, super size documentary. <laughs> yeah, super size That's me. That's so funny. Uh, <clears throat> we have we have poutine here. Uh, at McDonald's. Oh, see, I'm jealous because oh, I love yeah. McDonald's fries. I can't yeah. imagine that shit probably good. It's it's pretty good. It's not the best poutine I've had, but like with the fries, it's like oh, this is it hits the spot for Dude, sure. I'm starving. Don't do this shit to me right now. Bro. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyways, we just did the ads. Let's move past yeah, this. Yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not sponsored by McDonald's. By by McDonald's. Each, we're not. We're fuck, not. Yeah, fuck wish. them for <laughs> taking away breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you if you want to sponsor us. <laughs> we. I'm just kidding. Yes, I love McDonald's. <laughs> It will change um, our stance immediately with money. <laughs> with mm, money. Shamrock shake. <laughs> I don't know what this the is made rip. of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that sweet tea has cocaine in it. That's why I love it so much. Probably. Well, we don't even have that. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the sweet tea is a Southern thing, brother. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. No, they have it in California. Well, I mean, you were in Southern California. Uh, true. But, but I <laughs> see what South. you mean. Anyways, Karen mad I got my food first. Wife is hungry for McDonald's breakfast. I go to a drive-thru to get her the breakfast. I order and pay, get told to pull pull up into a designated parking spot and wait about a minute when another car pulls into another designated spot to my right. It's the Karen. I wait about another two minutes and a worker comes up with my food and thanks me for my patience. While I'm grabbing my food, I hear, 
why is he getting my food? Worker <laughs> responds, uh, this is his order. Your order is coming. She Why says, do you make it sound like that? Like, that? <laughs> like Patrick. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess. <laughs> is that your Patrick uh, voice? Yeah. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Damn. It's been a while. Why did he get his first? I'm starving and have been waiting. Worker walks over to Karen and simply informs her, Ma'am, you ordered a 20-piece chicken nuggets, chicken sandwiches, and burgers. We serve breakfast until 11 on Sundays. <laughs> It's 940. And she started screeching more. I would have stayed for the entirety of it, but my pregnant wife is scarier than a Karen. <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's a smart move. Uh, yeah. God damn. I, people that treat minimum wage workers like this should be put on a watch list. Yes. Uh, Which is funny that you say that. Because top comment yeah. from Vecro LP. If I'd got a quarter for every Karen I have to deal with while working at McDonald's, I might actually make a living wage. Oh. And to which the OP responded, Brother Toast 13 said, that's both hilarious and sad at the same time, but all the more understood as a fellow food service employee. Yeah. I don't know how you can bat it. Like, there should always be a, a like a law that if you treat an employee badly for, you know, this many minutes or say this many swear words at them, you, ha you legally list. have to work <laughs> at a McDonald's for a month. <laughs> yeah, you get paid and everything, but you just have to. Exclusively you know. the bathrooms. <laughs> Ooh. In the front counter. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what should happen, I think. That's my petty advice. I like it. I will say this is this has happened to me like on occasion, you know, like I'll order from, uh, you know, the Whataburger app, John's favorite restaurant. Yeah, and sure. like, you know, sometimes other people get it before me, but it's like. I don't know when they ordered versus when True. I ordered, you know, like how does this Karen know who ordered first? In addition, if you see him walk away with one little breakfast bag and you know, you ordered 20 nuggets and multiple chicken sandwiches, kind of just use your brain cells to be like, oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's going to take longer. I ordered more. Like yeah. that's not, that's not fucking rocket science. Karen. <laughs> I've, I've kind of had this situation happen, not quite to this extreme, but I, I always order on the app. Because like I can order while I'm going like going there or doing it's just some, more efficient. Yeah, the, smart. We have one in the McDonald's near us, and so or in the Walmart near us. Sorry, the McDonald's is in the Walmart. Uh, and so whenever whenever I'm shopping and I'm almost done, I just quickly hit an order if I want to grab something, and then I'll just pull up, grab it, and then go. And so I had I did this one time, and uh, I I like show up. There's a huge line. My number's next. They call me. I grab my stuff. And I, this one, I, I think it was, it was some lady just kind of muttered to her, I guess, husband, like, why does he get his first? He just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Something along that lines. And I was like, technology whatever. people. Yeah. <laughs> get I was like, I don't tights. care. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, I mean, whatever. It's, it's not that extreme. I didn't care that much, but it was just funny. All right. We're going to move on to our last story. Boys, this Main requires event. your participation. It is another fanfic from one of our Wikimaniacs, oh, okay. Saskia. Oh. And again, I highlighted everything uh, that you guys are going to read. Uh, Josh, you have all the things that are blue, teal, whatever that color is. And then, Sean, you have everything that's green. Sounds good? Okay. And if you can just follow I, along. I just get my favorite know. color. Nice. Yeah, I remember your favorite colors, guys. So that's wow. why I did it this way. Wow. Watch Sean be like, that's not my favorite color. <laughs> it's green, right? <laughs> green, green is not my favorite color, but I do love money. So oh, See, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, close enough. Anyways. All right. All right I'm, Ready to follow along? Yeah, Just read yeah, everything that's blue and read everything that's green, Sean. Cool. Gotcha. All right. So this, again, is from our Wikimaniac Saskia, who graciously wrote this for us. And it's titled, Reddit on Wiki Crack Fic. So if you've had asked John, Josh, and Parmesan, a.k.a. Sean, Whoa. they said it, not me. <laughs> I didn't say it. You can read it. That is his full name, legally. Yes, legally. It's in his birth certificate. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> if you would have asked John, Josh, and Parmesan, a.k.a. Sean, how their podcast Reddit on Wiki was doing just a few months back, you would have been met with smiles and humble brags of its successes. The podcast was thriving, as was Sean's Venmo. But something hey. had been bubbling beneath the surface for a while. And the three boys were too caught up in their fame to notice what was going on. Uh, a new podcast had slowly been luring the Wikimaniacs away, oh, one no, by no. one. And before they knew it, it was just the three of them again, talking 
to an empty room. I mean, we know that feeling. Kind of what we do <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it hasn't been that long. So, like, we I'm still, like, humble stream. with this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For a long time, no one was talking back to us besides, yeah, like, we'll, two, three We'd people. still do it <laughs> for quite True. a while before yeah. we quit. <laughs> yeah. Dumbfounded, shout out. Uh, yeah. wow. The three of them agreed to meet in downtown Ottawa. The most convenient location they could think of. It's is fucking it? Houston is the most convenient place so we can go to. Guys. Funny that every time come you guys come here, <laughs> <laughs> so cold. You don't want to. <laughs> they were all staying in a small apartment, and the morning had come for them to get to the bottom of things for once and for all. John walked slowly out of the bathroom and hung the poop knife back upon <laughs> its trusty nail. He sighed and started stared at the floor. Josh and Parmesan instantly noticed. What was wrong? John, oh my God, did did you just poop fully clothed? Josh asked, trying his best to hide the shock in his voice as not to be upset John any further. John couldn't look anyone in the eye as he replied, I, I, I just don't see the point anymore. Pants on or off, it's all the same to me now. Can, can I just say something? It's yeah. so funny that let's say... You're just pooping with your pants on. <laughs> yeah, I was imagining you pooping in your pants. <laughs> John is one or the other. It's fully clothed or no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that one kid in that story. I just shit on my underwear. <laughs> Sean, oh you were there. God. <laughs> oh. uh, we can't give up. Sean cried out. What about the Wikimaniacs? The goats. There must be a way to get them back. Maybe. I don't know. I think we need a distraction. Let's let's get some breakfast. John shrugged and headed out the room. We can cook breakfast instead to save money. <laughs> Sean suggested awkwardly, not wanting to admit that came what came next. It's it's my Venmo. I haven't had anyone send money for weeks now. Oh, no. That's paint. Josh and John pause as they process what Parmesan was saying, but ultimately. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately, they knew it wasn't worth arguing over. Okay, said John, nodding solemnly. Okay, let's go make some breakfast. The boys headed to the kitchen where Parmesan opened the fridge door and reached out for the last carton of eggs. Damn, we still got eggs? Hey, <laughs> it's not too bad. We're rich, rich. <laughs> uh, He hummed. What's up? Josh asked. There's only five eggs? What the hell? <laughs> I always have six <laughs> eggs when I make breakfast. <laughs> it's just an egg, John hit his laughter. We'll get more tomorrow. Sean shook his head. I can't believe this shit. Every day of my life, I wake up and I consume no more and no less than six eggs. But this, five eggs? I can't do this anymore, guys. First, Josh has a bad hair day. Then, John's pooping <laughs> with clothes completely on in his pants. That's off script, but I'm keeping it in. And now I only have five eggs? Josh raised an eyebrow at this. He wasn't aware he was having a bad hair day. Catching strays. <laughs> <laughs> but the torment Sean was going through was enough to give him the motivation to see, his th to see this through. Sean, I'm so sorry about the eggs. I know it's important to you. We'll get some more later. But for now, we need to focus on what's happened. I'm going to get my laptop. He paused and heroically oh, looked shit, at I his co-host <laughs> in the eyes. We've got a podcast to save. Damn. John thought to himself, he'd never seen Josh so manly and dumb. Do we finally before. fuck in this story? <laughs> oh, yeah. Not the time. He shook the thought away, coming back to reality. I just don't understand what's happened. Josh said as he frantically typed into his laptop trying to find what podcast could possibly be to blame. John and Sean leaned over him to see what appeared. It better not be some Tate wannabe or I swear to God I'm about to throw hands, <laughs> John exclaimed, already squaring up. Sean nodded along, his eyes scanning the screen. Wait, there, he pointed at a list of names on the laptop, but he hadn't realized it was a touchscreen, so the three guys watched in horror as the page began to reconfigure. A menu popped up in an overlay and it zoomed out really far <laughs> to the point where nothing was readable. 
This is accurate to Sean with yeah, technology. Sean and technology. Whoa, yeah. rude. Disrespectful. <laughs> Disrespectful. Sean stays catching strays in these yeah. stories, bro. Dude. <laughs> My bad hair days. Y'all, y'all talk about how, how I'm the favorite, but every time there's one of these things we get, I'm always the fucking <laughs> dumbass idiot asshole. <laughs> Sean, John cried. Don't make me fight you too. Sean retracted his finger from the screen. Oops, my bad. (laughs) Okay, one second. I think I got it. Josh reloaded the page and scrolled back down to see where Sean had pointed earlier. He moved the mouse to highlight the list of names and sat back in shock. It couldn't be. Could it? The room was silent. Beads of sweat began to drip down John's forehead. Sean gulped and stared wide-eyed. Josh couldn't speak. Only three names were listed. They were co-hosts of the new groundbreaking podcast that had so shamelessly taken the Wikimaniacs away from them. The names, Sienna, Juliet, <gasps> and Nancy. Oh, for the it. end. My goodness. Less How work done. and more money? <laughs> <laughs> you go, True, girls, man. hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I'll a stay home You can take care of me, right? <laughs> I'll be trophy <laughs> husband. <laughs> That's me, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> Do all the work. Saskia wrote out our dream scenario. Yeah. <laughs> right. She just stopped writing before we eventually fucked at the end. <laughs> now we'll have more time to do that now that we oh, have no wow. jobs. Hell that's, yeah. That's our new OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we pivot. We adjust. Yeah. I, I have one question for the Wikimaniacs. What is their podcast called? Mm. That's what I want to know. Let us know down in the comments. I, yes. I want to hear what what Sienna, Juliet, and Nancy's podcast would be called. That'd be dope. Mickey on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So something creative. better. Y'all can make something better for sure. <laughs> It'd actually spell Reddit correctly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for the Reddit portion of this episode. Shout out again to Saskia for that beautiful rendition. Yeah, that was awesome. Crack thank you so, so much. So Saskia, thank you. And also, Maniacs- oh, go ahead. Discord mod. Uh, so shout out to uh, yes. Task is a Discord mod. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. All our Wicked Maniacs got jobs. <laughs> this is. <laughs> we put we'll make it work. work. <laughs> and that's why they're going to leave us as soon as they <laughs> the other three make a podcast. Yeah, the other three are going to be like, we'll actually pay you for this. <laughs> like, shit. They got us beat. We can't do that. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. you can request for payment at Sean S N T P O D. No, I think that's that's, that's the Venmo. opposite. That's the op- that's the opposite of what you do. <laughs> oh shit, my bad, my bad. I'm supposed to be nice to you. Yeah. Send him money, Wikimaniacs. There it yeah. is. <laughs> Apologies, baby boy. All right. So that's it for the Reddit portion of this episode. Stick around for this day in history and our patron shout outs. Also, if you must be warned, there is a trigger warning for this day in history this week. It because it involves the murder of Brianna Taylor. Um, oh. So if you're not comfortable with that, Wikimaniacs, oh, just man. just hop off altogether. But uh, it's beautifully written by Alex. And uh, yeah, but when we bring the boys back, we'll do a recap and read some reviews and now and do some announcements in the end. So see y'all soon. What is up, Wikimaniacs? It's that time again to turn back our clocks with our weekly segment that we call This Day in History. If you're new to the show, first of all, thank you for tuning in. This little segment is a historical series that allows us to time travel to learn more about what happened on this day throughout history. And we get to use our other favorite website, Wikipedia, baby. But today we're not going too far back in time actually just going to go back three years ago and this feature will highlight the murder of Breonna Taylor. This feature may be a little heavier uh, than our previous coverages. We found that it's an important issue to recognize and discuss nonetheless, but this is a trigger warning for you Wikimaniacs. If you're not comfortable discussing murder, please feel free to skip the rest of the episode and we'll see you back on Friday. But the story of Breonna goes as this. Brianna was a 26-year-old black woman who was shot within her Louisville, Kentucky apartment on March 13, 2020 by armed police officers. Several officers forced their way into her apartment due to an investigation. This investigation, according to resources, was looking into a drug dealing operations. The plainclothes officers entered a home where Brianna and her boyfriend, 
Kenneth Walker were on what was probably an average March day for them. Allegedly, police entered the apartment and acknowledged themselves as officers. However, conflicting reports claim that Kenneth did not hear this announcement due to being probably scared that three grown men were breaking into the home. Kenneth fired what has been described as a warning shot, which hit Officer Jonathan Mattingly. The officers then retaliated multiple gunfire shots with five to eight of these shots hitting Brianna, which unfortunately killed her. Unsurprisingly, the autopsy that was conducted on Taylor indicated her cause of death was determined to be homicide. According to a change.org website, Brianna Taylor was an award-winning EMT and model citizen. She loved her family and community, working at two hospitals as an essential worker during the pandemic. What happened to her should have never happened. So how did police even get to Brianna's door? It turns out that Jamarcus Glover, Brianna's ex-boyfriend, supposedly had packages delivered to her apartment. Jamarcus was eventually arrested on August 27, 2020 in possession of drugs. He would go on to tell the Courier Journal that Brianna had no involvement in the drug trade whatsoever. No drugs were even found in her apartment, and as many know already, there was a slew of discrepancies, errors, and downright neglect that came from the police. The murder of Brianna Taylor, among other similar cases, sparked a loud conversation around police brutality, and in particular, police brutality with non-white folks. Officer charged thus far, and referencing on an August 4, 2022 article, include Joshua Jaynes, Kyle Meany, Brett Hankinson, and Kelly Goodlip. The charges include civil rights violations, conspiracy, use of excessive force, and obstruction. Brett Hankinson specifically is facing a separate federal charge of violating Taylor's civil rights for allegedly using excessive force by firing 10 times into Taylor's apartment. The charges came of a total of two years after Brianna lost her life, which is way too long for Brianna's friends, family, and community to have to wait. To honor Brianna, we will include not only the resources used today for today's segment write-up, but also educational reads and fundraisers for those that want to learn more and support Brianna's loved ones as they continue to fight for her justice. We also want to acknowledge that there is so much more to Brianna's story that we didn't discuss today. And if you want to learn more about Brianna in a podcast format, we would recommend checking out the Crime Lines podcast for their June 3rd, 2020 coverage of the case, as well as the Red Table Talk podcast, which discuss Brianna Taylor on their October 20th, 2022 episode. So Wikimaniacs, let us know your thoughts on our social media accounts or over on our Cultivate Discord. There's so much of you guys there now. Also, thank you for tuning in to today's This Day in History segment and learning more about today's feature with us. It wouldn't have been made possible without the following resources. Wikipedia article on killing of Breonna Taylor. New York Times of what to know about Breonna Taylor's death by Richard Opel and Derek Bryson Taylor. And Nicholas Bogle Burroughs. Change.org article on justice for Breonna Taylor. ACLU website article. Officers charged for Breonna Taylor murder over two years later by amber duke and legal defense fund justice denied an overview of the grand jury proceedings in brianna taylor's case also there are some miscellaneous resources that alex put for us there's a change.org for justice for brianna taylor justice for brianna's website at justice for brianna.org gofundme the loveland foundations the crime limes podcast and red table talk podcast how the police killed Breonna Taylor, the only witness speaks out. So we'll include these in the show notes, Wikimaniac, so that way you can check it out for any additional resources or if you want to support the cause. We also want to say thank you to Alex for putting this together. I know this is one of the heavier scripts that she had to write for us that she made for the show. So thank you, Alex, for willingly putting this together for us. And we appreciate all you do for the show. And uh, check out all the collab episodes we did with Alex, as well as checking out Weird Distractions podcast. She's amazing. And last but not the least, we can't finish this episode without saying thank you to the amazing patrons that we have for the show we have over 280 patrons now closing in on 300 wikimaniacs so shout out to y'all and last time i heard that y'all had a kick of when i read everything alphabetically so guess what i am feeling chaotic again and i feel bad for josh because he has to edit this i'm gonna do it again but this time from z to a let's do this but for some reason this person's first so as gear you're first even though it's a z but anyways as gear zoe zantalo your girl diana woody metaphor woody kitty will warren vina victoria vicky velvet mole valentina unicorn candy tucka tree the busy bee tracy Torek, tiffany thammy turton tegan technicolor kitty taylor 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 
Miller, Taru, Tara, Tamsin, Tabitha, Susan, Sunny Licious Supreme, Sunny, Stevie, Stephanie, Stephanie, Sophie, Sophia, Sober Queen, Sky, Sierra, Sierra, Siddhartha, Shirtless, Josh, Dan, Shell, Sheila, Shannon, Savannah, Saskia, Sasha, Sarah, 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 Sammy, Sam, Salma, Sabrina, Riker, Roxy, Rouge on Rouge, or Rogue on Road, you tell me. Ruzu Ryan, Robert, Ringo, Rhonda, Rihanna, Renee, Risa, Rebecca, Raven, Rachel, Rachel, Queenie's Den, Purple DC Bones, Shy God, Pooh Vibes, Pikaya, Phoebe, Philip, Phantom Fox, Paula, Patty, Pandemonium the Cat, Olivia, Olga, Noah, Nick, Naya, Nelly, Neen, Nathimi, Nate, Nikita, Muna, Miss Doolittle, Miss Christine E2, Morgan, Moody Tacos, Mid Drake, Mitzi, Mina, Mickey, Michelle, Michelle, Michael, Micah, Marissa, Melissa, Melissa, Meg Mystery, Marianne, Marjorie, Marine, Mary Elena, Maria, Mama Dev, Maddie, Mackenzie, Lindsay, Lunar, Luca, Losalini, Lofty Andy, Little 5128, Little Rosie, Linnea, Ling, Lindsay, Lily, Lillian, Lily, Likachu, Lay, Leslie, Lena, Lauren, Lonnie, Karena, Kirsten, Kitty, Kite, Kimberly, Carrie, Barry, Kenzie, Kelsey, KC, Kawina, Katie, Catherine, Caitlin, Kate, Casey, Caridim, Karen, Cow, Kakerniz, Julie, Julia, Juice Machine, Jory, Jordan, Jojo, Jillian, Jesse, Yenna, Jessica, Jessica, Jenny, Jenna, Jen, 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 Javier, Jasmine, Jamie, Jackie, Jay, Rich, Is Means Biz, Aisha, Yulia, Itzel, Isabel, It's a Thunder Poop, Indira, Hyphen, Hope, Holly, Hannah, Haley, Graceful Duck, Galaxy, Gabby, Gabby, Free Gnomes, Flossie, Flare Prime, Evelyn, Christina, Aaron, Emily, 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 Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Eliana, Eli, Ekaterina, Drella, Dr. Dunan, Dominique, Dick Smith, Diana, Daya, D, Danielle, Dan, Dan, Crystal, Sierra, Sierra, Christine, Kristen, Cheryl, Cherise, Chelsea, Cecily, Catherine, Carter, Caroline, Caroline, Carolina, Carol, Caitlin, Brianna, Brittany, Brittany, Brie, Blue Raina, Blue Bex, be so happy bear bailey hi bailey audrey ashley 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 ariori artina april appleine atuna anthony angel andy andrea anastasia anna amber 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 amanda Alyssa, Alyssa, ali alexandra alex Alyssa, alexis alexis alexa alex alex aka the run agatha brockway aber Aaron, and last but not the least the goat baby mid score so that's 281 of y'all wicked maniacs thank you so much we love you for everything that you do for us enjoy the bonus content there's more coming your way so thank you thank you let's bring the boys back to cap off this episode love y'all and we're back whoa and that's it for this week's content but before we cap the show josh sean anything you want to cover before we head out uh, I'd just like to give out a shout out to my best friend and co-host of my other podcast chris you're married brother hell yeah congrats Love you. Uh, I assume it was a, a beautiful celebration. Nice. Congrats, uh, man. Yeah, congrats. I have, I have Venmos uh, to announce, but I'll wait till my episode to do that. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holding on to the Venmos. I like that. Yeah, I want to see if I can get more to pull up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is this call to action. Call yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my call to action. Um, yeah, so I got a quick announcement, and then I'll hop into some reviews that we've gotten. Um, so as you can see, new merch <gasps> that we are Decked rocking. out. Uh, that shit looks I'm rocking, nice. I guess. Yeah, I'll have another sweater that I'm going to wear for next episode. But uh, this is our Get Therapy Smileys merch. Uh, as you can see, the little smileys on here. And then Get Therapy hat. So none of this, you'll notice this isn't available on our current store. We're actually release, launching a new store April 1st. Uh, so get ready for that. We'll we'll put the it's link in the show notes. It's not a joke, guys. Jokes it's on not, not, not a joke. A joke. <laughs> we have to reiterate. Yeah, and we're gonna have a promo code, uh, which we'll announce closer to the date. Uh, you'll get a percentage off. We haven't decided how much we're gonna do, but uh, yeah. So uh, will there be a launch promo code for anyone who wants to get some of the new merch? Some of the stuff. I think this one is gonna be a like a timed launch, so it'll be like up for two weeks, and then. Uh, We'll, we'll see how it does and, and then we'll launch in the future. If it does well, Ooh, uh, we got some other, yeah, we got some other new merch that John's teased on our Instagram coming out too. Teased. Uh, so we're super excited. Midscore was yelling about us for not doing enough merch stuff. So we're trying to turn that around. And, and we listen to you, Midscore. 
Yeah. We value your to, opinion and everyone else. Yeah. So we're trying to build it out. And if you have any other merch ideas, shout them out. We have them on the Discord. There's a channel that you can, I think you can just say what you want for just dis- like merch ideas. Merch on right, dice. Yeah. I used my name this time around. So the merch, merch on dice. dice. I like that. Love it. Um, so if you have any ideas, go there and we'll, we'll try and uh, take some ideas from there as well going forward. So uh, yeah. Uh, we'll or if have you want to make a shit and you don't mind selling it on your beer. <laughs> we can we'll also work out commission it. ideas as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the announcement. We'll have a little bit more information uh, within the last week of March, but that's just a little bit of a tease. So get ready for that. Mm, I like it. Oh, mm. No, stop it. <laughs> Daddy. And no. then <laughs> I've got some reviews. This one's from our website. Comes from Megan. I'm not going to read your last name because. The Stallion? Yeah, Easter Megan the Stallion. Uh, Houston legend, an actual Houston legend. <laughs> uh, gives us a five star. It says, love this podcast. I first found you guys on TikTok and would listen here and there when I would see one of your videos. I wanted to start listening to a podcast at work and thought to give you guys a listen on Spotify. Since then, I listen every day to a bunch of them and you guys definitely make my day better and go by, or my day go by quicker. You guys make me die laughing every time I listen and I'm glad I found a great podcast to listen to. You guys do a great job. Thank you for making my, uh, me enjoy my day while at work. So that was a lovely. That was really that nice. Was, that was five sweet. star. Thank you, Megan. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's always crazy, you know. Like we've said, like the fact that anybody like actually listens, you know, is crazy. <laughs> yeah. But like, it's so nice knowing that you know we can make other people their days better and things like that. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, uh, you know, 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 you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you it's know, just you it's know. nice. Yeah, I'm speechless. You know. What you don't you know? know is I take a lot of Sean's you knows out of the script. <laughs> Have fun editing that one out. (laughs) I'm just going to leave that one in. Uh, (laughs) This one comes from Apple Podcast. Lucas the Bucus. I I think that's Luca the Buca. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Five star. Love this podcast. I just found this podcast recently and I have to say you guys are awesome. Very insightful and genuinely good people. That's a big to differ on that Debatable. Debatable. Debatable on that. Uh, I look forward to listening to future episodes and binging all the old ones to keep me going at work. Thank you for the great content. So thank you, Luca. Thank you so uh, much. Beautiful. Can one. I say one more thing uh, sure. before we before we close off? I, I beg of you guys to, uh, as much as we appreciate you guys liking the three of us and liking the three of us together, uh. I beg of you to be fucking nice and don't be rude to our <laughs> guests. Uh, they've graced us with their time and their effort to hang out with us whenever one of us is out or can't make it. Um, you know, those are our friends guys. Uh, so <laughs> really don't be rude. Uh, there, if you just said They're that you like randos. the three of us. Yeah. If, yeah. if you're just saying, you know, you like the three of us, that's fine. But there's been a review that like specifically lists out the names of guests that they didn't like. Not and cool. that's not fucking cool at all. That's not cool at all. They're, they're taking yeah. the time out of their day to rock Give with us. us. Great content. Great, yes. great advice. Yeah. 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 And the time that Sean mentioned that recording and creating this takes a lot of time. And they said I'd ra- they could be rather doing something else, but no, they chose to hang out with us. So they yeah. have family, friends, work, real life shit outside of podcasting. And, you know, they chose that time to, to hang out with us and to give you guys content. So we love that you love the three of us, but really don't be rude to those and there, there's not like a ton of people being rude. No, no, no. It's it just was very we, few. It's yeah. yeah. It's just you know you don't want to see that at all. Actually, you know you what I mean. You could have just so. not said anything. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay if you guys want to criticize us. That's fine. We're all we're By all, all means, that. Yeah. yeah. Flame us all you want. We don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah, and and totally okay if you're like, oh, I miss Sean. Like that's that's totally fine. We miss Sean. We we say that all the time. So all it the was. Time. Um, I'll be reading all of those on my next. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to delete them all before. Yeah. You get there. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good call out, Sean. Uh, so yeah, just be kind. Just be kind in the comments. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's our, our general, like, you know, we're known for being, well, no, we, we are kind of rude to each other, but like, yeah, you know, not we're, on yeah. purpose, but we're, we're yeah, friends. We're being friendly. Yeah. We're friendly though. Friendly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're not, uh, well, no, we're rude to strangers, I guess. Uh, you know, but <laughs> we judge people that deserve content. it, people yeah. that deserve it. I would say guests on a podcast obviously do not deserve ridicule. It's an or Andrew Tate podcast. Yes. Yeah. Then, um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, good call, Sean. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. 
I just want, but, you know, uh, you guys to give them the same love and respect that you guys give us. Yes. Absolutely. Good call out. Um, uh, but I do want to end it on a high note. It is. Oh, it is I still a have more reviews. But oh, shit. Oh, let, me yeah. one, let me get one quick one real quick, Josh. <laughs> okay. I do want to give a shout out to one of our uh, Wikimaniacs on our Discord. Very active. They're Bozenka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But they've said oh, yeah. that they've gone and listened to majority of all our episodes from the beginning to now. So shout out Bozenka for having the patience to listen to our voice for over 150 <laughs> hours. So more I, power to you. I think it was them or someone else. They commented and said the uh, confessions episode was one of their favorites. Yes. You guys got to uh, do that again. I'm surprised y'all didn't do that while I was out. We should have, honestly. We should have. Uh, well, the production cost on that was just skyrocketed. <laughs> so we, you know, he props <laughs> the fucking everything. Yeah, we should do that again. Um, Lens. Loki, it's one of my funny, one of the funniest episodes I think I've ever done, and that's a little pat on the back to me. But hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was great. And then last one on our website is from Anna. It's a five star. It says, "Love you guys." Ringo's "I Hate Boy" shirt would be in every lesbian's Wikimaniacs closet. <laughs> oh my god, brilliant! I think that'd be genius. <laughs> so send that's- send me a picture of uh, of Ringo, and Juliet will draw a Ringo Ooh. merch. Like she's had, she's been she's been killing it with some merch designs for me. So I like that. Yeah, you know, if you uh, got like all th- like Chloe, Ringo, and Kara's heads, like a uh, Little cartoon heads on top That'd of. That'd be good. I hate boys or something like that. <laughs> that'd be so fucking cute. Or, or even hat. just them by themselves. I think that'd be cute. Yeah, and everyone just that gets too. their own. Yeah. Or or oh, like yeah, we could we we'll, we'll discuss it. We'll, I yeah. I do like we'll the idea of we'll doing all the pets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, I'll end it off on that review. Uh, thank you very much for all the wonderful reviews that you everyone has left. Uh, it's crazy. Like I go in and I'm like, holy, there's so many more new ones. It's it's awesome. It's I crazy. Love yeah. to see it. All right. Well, that is it, Wikimaniacs. We do appreciate you sta- um, hanging out with us today. And if you're on YouTube chat, we see y'all. Y'all always there. So oh, we appreciate you. We might not uh, be able to do TikTok Live anymore. We got banned. Yeah, we got taken down from TikTok Live. Uh, they do not like pre-recorded content playing on their live side. So That's so dumb. I might have to think of a workaround where I just live stream myself watching it with a, you know. Oh. An image Just of put a like a video, like a hand, your hands and a video game controller in front of it. And then they won't even know. <laughs> yeah, true. Someone okay. did that for a UFC live stream. That was genius. <laughs> yeah. They put themselves yeah. in the corner with a chair. <laughs> it's it's genius, man. That is genius. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll figure out the TikTok live thing, but uh, yeah, just. Come on over to YouTube. There's more stuff. No, more people commenting on there anyway. So. And there's always conversations. Sean, yeah. they're begging for you to show Polls. up one of these days. Yeah, you got to come to live one day. One I'll do day. my best. Mm. <laughs> All right, but don't forget to follow us on social media. Join our Discord where there's almost 500 Wikimaniacs talking there every Holy. day. All day, every day. And subreddit, Crazy. almost at 2,500. Holy crap. So, uh, yeah, and tell all your friends about us. We'll see you again this Friday for another Am I the Asshole episode. Till then, toodles. Bye. Bye. Get therapy. Love ya. Expert in fucking not The great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy Sean. <laughs> <laughs>